Bio Nation. I hope you are doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. So we have our Smash team who has qualified for the NACE Star League Varsity Plus Divisional Playoffs. Try saying that three times fast. But yes, uh, they did qualify, and they will be going up against Quinnipiac for the round of six. And if the, the team wins, excuse me. Okay, I'm good. If the if they win, then they will advance to the semifinals, which will be in two weeks. Uh, we're already getting things set up to get into the lobby. So let's go over a couple things while we're getting that set up. So first of all, who will be playing in our playoff match tonight? Uh, so we have here, I believe, uh, sophomore Ryan Boggs, Kinky Dinku playing, freshman Peyton Angle, Ginger Ale playing, sophomore Zach Lane, The Weed playing, and our captain freshman Mason Rice, Cheshire playing. And of course, we have our uh, head coach, Derek Games, Games Grump. But, all right, a few quick announcements. Uh, so first, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Marietta College Esports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones, great quality. We used our quadcast mic in our broadcasting room. Uh, very durable. Our students love using them. So we want to thank HyperX uh, for uh, helping us out with that. If you want to check out HyperX and see if their products are right for you, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code uh, is on your screen, the, that bottom right corner there. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza uh, for their support. So every Tuesday is Married to College Night. So if you go to their restaurant on Front Street, you can get uh, discounts on food and drinks if you show your ID there, of course. Um, but anyway, they you get uh, the discount, of course. They'll have their Nintendo Switch available where you can play some Sm uh, Smash Brothers yourself or some Mario Kart uh, or some Mario Party. Uh, and they'll be airing our matches on their televisions there. So go check them out on Tuesdays. Now, of course, our season is starting to wind down, but we do have a bunch of matches up on YouTube. So they'll be uh, showing our, match our matches from YouTube if we don't have a live match uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, we're always looking for more students for our esports program. So we have uh, varsity titles in uh, Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. Uh, of course, we have our facility here at the Gathering Place on campus. Uh, we have several coaches for a few of our titles, and we're always looking for more. We try to provide academic support for our students because we want to see them succeed in any endeavor, not just in esports, and scholarships are available. So for more information, you can go to our link tree, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. Uh, it has links to all of our social media channels. It has links to our tryout forms. It has uh, a link where you can even set up a Discord call to talk to our head coach. So if you just want to say, hey, what's up? Then you can go to our link tree and fill that out. Uh, speaking of scholarships, uh, we do offer scholarships to be the part of the program. And I realize I do not have the, the dates updated on here. So that is my fault. Uh, but uh, we will have one more official tryout date if you're a high school senior or a college transfer and you want to try out so you would that would be on saturday april 15th march 18th and 25th have already passed uh it, it would be on saturday april 15th it's a three-step process you would fill out our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash mc recruit you would schedule the tryouts for at bit.ly slash mc esport tryout which would be april 15th and then join our discord server which is bit.ly slash bio discord so this could be the last chance to try out for a scholarship. If you are planning to come to Marietta College to do uh, and are interested in being part of the esports team, then this is the time to set up that trial for April 15th so we can add a little bit more to your financial aid package. After that, I cannot guarantee that we'll be able to offer any more esports scholarships after April 15th. So I am telling you right now, Go to bit.ly slash MC Esport Trial. The QR code's on your on the screen right now. So you can just kind of take a screenshot of it and put your phone and scan that QR code, fill out the information, and we can get the, the trial arranged. But all right, it's looking like we are about to get started. Uh, it seems like Ginger Ale will be leading off on Corin. So we are just waiting to see uh, what Quinnipiac is going to be 
picking here. Uh, it looks like it is going to be, I think it's small battlefield is the, the map. So I'm just kind of waiting for it. Although I'm going to try to throw in one more quick announcement while we are waiting. So we are excited to announce that next Friday, April 7th, we will have our first ever Marietta Esports Campus Clash. This is going to be an all-campus 1v1 Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament. Uh, it is a fundraiser to help support the esports program. It is a $5 to participate, and it is open to all Marietta College students, faculty, and staff. Yes, you heard that right. Faculty and staff can be a part of this tournament. So if you have a favorite professor that you want to see compete in this Smash tournament, please let him know about this. Uh, we do have gift cards for the top three winners of the tournament. It is a double elimination tournament. So the winners with to choose from a $50 gift card from Over the Moon Pizza, a $50 gift card from Cadoba, and a $25 gift card from Boathouse Barbecue. So whoever wins the whole thing gets to pick one of those. Second place then picks the other, then third place gets what's uh, left over. But that will be Friday, April 7th, uh, 7 p.m. at the Gathering Place. And of course, we will try to stream it on Twitch. So for those of you that cannot compete, you can at least watch the tournament and see how it plays out. Maybe you get to see your favorite professor on camera. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, we are very excited about it. But uh, please spread the word. Uh, we want to make this a, a big campus uh, event uh, going into next week. But all right, we are still waiting for Quinnipiac to... Uh, get things underway. Once again, uh, Ginger Ale will be leading off with Corin. So now we're just waiting for Quinnipiac to enter the arena and we will get this match started up. Okay, we, they are now starting up. So here we go. It is going to be a Corin mirror match, folks. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've seen... Well, there might have been one mirror match before, but all right. It is Corrin versus Corrin. No matter what happens in this round, Corrin is going to win. It's just a matter of will it be Ginger Ale or will it be Quinnipiac? But we are seeing Quinnipiac putting a lot of damage onto Ginger Ale, trying to go for the counter, but the uh, Quinnipiac is able to uh, handle it. But we're going to see Ginger Ale does fall and drop a stock. And Quinnipiac is not hesitant to put some combos. Uses the shield, but a great dash attack there by Ginger Ale. But we're seeing some counter plays coming out by Quinnipiac on the corner. Tries to go for the counter by Ginger Ale, but uh, Quinnipiac is not going to buy it. And it's just... Sort of play back and forth. And a nice little dash attack there from Quinnipiac. See, Jadro goes for the stun, doesn't quite get it. Being very patient with those ranged dash attacks. So now we're seeing already Ginger Ale down to the, the last stock. While uh, Quinnipiac's score is at now 104%. So still has not been able to take a stock off of Quinnipiac's core. Tries to go for the counter, but just a little too early. And we're just seeing Quinnipiac's core putting in a lot of damage. Already putting Ginger at 51.6%. Goes for the down smash, goes for the stun, gets the stun, but just recovers very quickly from that because it was not a very charged uh, stun attack. Dendrero's trying to at least get that one stock off. Already 133% for Quinnipiac scoring. A great launch from there. Now Dendrero gets launched in the air, but still gets back onto the platform at 92% herself. And does get a stock off of uh, Quinnipiac Corin. But this is going to be a very tough spot uh, for Ginger. Already at 92%. 
but is able to land quite a few hits on the other corner. And a great counter there. Tries to go for another stun, doesn't connect. But that stun is going to take Ginger Ale out of the fight. So Ginger Ale was able to take one stock from Quinnipiac's corner and almost got a second, but it just was not enough. So now we will see who is going to be coming in second. And it looks like it's going to be Cheshire coming in. So we'll see he's been practicing a lot of Donkey Kong been kind of his new main. And we are going to see that Donkey Kong come back. So now they're going to be going over the uh, the next set of map picks and bands, and I have no idea what they're going to be selecting. So we're just going to be chilling here uh, as they get all that figured out. So just waiting for everything to get set up here. Ready? But all right, we are underway here. So we will see how Cheshire on the Donkey Kong plays against this core and uh, Korn will have to drop a stock at the beginning of this matchup. Alright, so they are they are ready. So here we go. Korn going to land the first strike onto Cheshire. Tries to go for the side smash and does get the ground pound, but not the follow-up. We're going to see that kick landing onto Cheshire. Gets another one, launching him in the air already at 53%. But Donkey Kong hits very hard. Going to try to almost tie this up. But we're seeing Corey going to be able to get some counter damage in onto Cheshire. Able to dodge the dash attack. Kicks Corey into the air. Gets a little bit of damage off the shield, but just not really a lot of follow-up. Tries to go for the Meteor Smash, doesn't quite get it, and does take some damage as a result. So it was a good try by Cheshire. But will launch Korn and does take her down. So now Korn's down to her last stock. So we'll see, can Cheshire take out this Korn without dropping stock? Already at 150%, stops that kick, and does have the, sling, the swinging arm charged up. But Cheshire will be taken out with one, uh, at least one stock. So now it's going to be very close. And we're just seeing Corrin putting in some combos. Trying to go for the launch. Does not... Yeah, not an opportunity really opportunity to follow up. Shields the kick. And goes for a great launch, and it's not going to be enough. And Cheshire is going to be able to take out that Corrin with only dropping one stock. So that is going to close up the, uh, the gap a little bit. Now we're just going to wait for the next round. doing all the, the picks and bands right now so we'll see what they're going to pick soon so 
So what will they pick? It's looking like it's going to be small battlefield. So now we're just waiting to see what Quinnipiac will be playing against uh, Cheshire's Donkey Kong. But I mean, overall played very well. He took some hits here and there, but uh, able to get the launches that he needed to. I think we're just waiting for Quinnipiac to make a selection. I think they have. And we are going to see a Sonic, ladies and gentlemen. So this could be a way to counter Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is a little bit on the slower side. And Sonic, well, as you know, got to go fast. So we will see how Sonic's speed will counter Donkey Kong. And we're just seeing right from the get-go, Sonic is not going to give Cheshire any chance to attack. Hasn't taken any damage yet. Already getting Donkey Kong to 89%. But Sonic almost mis-kicked uh, or misclicked or... Donkey Kong does not get back onto the platform though so Cheshire is already down to their last stop and Sonic is without any hesitation going to try to get a full on assault onto Cheshire so Sonic is charging up but just being so quick it's just hard for Cheshire to react to that with Donkey Kong Gonna try to launch Sonic in the air, see if he can go for a combo. Does get the hit, tries to go for the side smash, but does not get it. Gets into the ground, does another smash. We're just seeing so much damage back and forth, and that is gonna take out Cheshire. Just that Sonic doing so much damage that he was just able to outspeed Donkey Kong and not drop any stocks. But that was a very difficult matchup there. And that's the one of the things about these speedy characters. Like whenever you have a fast character going up against one of a slow, uh, bulkier one, if you can dodge everything, then it's just really hard to play against it. And we just saw that Sonic performed very well. Um, taking very little damage for most of that. Choose your fighter. But now it is going to be uh, King Kundinku playing and going to be bringing out the Lucina. Has played a lot of Roy in some of his prior matches, but uh, it looks like going to go with Lucina this time. And we'll see what map uh, they're going to be playing on. Maybe Pokemon Stadium 2. Or maybe Hollow Bastion. Or... I don't know. Looks like it is going to be on Final Destination. Maybe change the music first? They are going to change the music. Are they going to change it too? It does not look like it's going to be the DK rap as we usually hear. But no, it's going to be something from the Persona series. And you gotta know, Coach Games is loving this right now. He is a huge Persona 5 uh, fan. All right, it looks like Quinnipiac is gonna be ready. So here we go. Kinkadinku on the Lucina against Quinnipiac Sonic. So we will see if Kinkadinku does have an answer for this speedy hedgehog. And Sonic is going to strike first, and may uh, all that might have been just a little bit of trolling there. Be able to use that bounce spring to get back onto the platform. 
Tries to go for the counter, does not get it. And gets a huge smash hit. But does not get back on the platform and will drop a stock. Goes for the charge smash, but does not get it, but a great counter. And oh my goodness! The team is like, what just happened? Sonic just rolling through underneath the platform and gets back up. Sonic has insane recovery. And Sonic is not letting up one bit. And takes down another stock from Kinku Dinku. And just like that, Sonic is just not taking any... Well, I take that back. He was also not taking any damage there, but uh, Kinku Dinku does get one hit, but just still not able to drop a stock off of this Sonic. Tries to go for the counter, but doesn't get it. But now he can do is in very dangerous position right by the platform. And that smash attack will take him out. Sonic once again going 3-0. And now we're down to the Pioneer's last player in this first game. And it is going to be the weed playing. So this is going to be interesting if he's going to be bringing out a uh, Little Mac against this Sonic. All right, so it's gonna be bringing out the weed, and there is that little Mac. So we've been talking about the pros and cons of little Mac. He hits hard, but his recovery is questionable at best. So if Sonic is able to get uh, the weed off the platform, it is gonna be hard for him to recover. Just choosing which uh, skin he wants. All right, he's gonna lock in that little Mac there. Still finalizing the the map. Going to be changing up the music again. This time it's going to be from the F Zero series. Here we go, folks. Three, two, one, go! Once again, Sonic has not dropped any stock in. He's just going straight for Little Mac. Just running all over, but trying to see getting a couple jabs in there. That's one thing about Little Mac. It does not have a lot of recovery, but if he gets his hits in, it can't hit really hard. KO is already enabled. So the weed's going to be looking for the opportunity to land it, but does not. Just completely whips it and loses a stock to Sonic. Has to go for another jab, but Sonic is going to recover back onto the platform. See, Sonic waits for the punch, but... Another charge attack by Sonic. 
but able to get back onto the platform. We're seeing the weak getting one hit and does get a smash attack on Sonic, does take him down. But still, Quinnipiac as a whole still has eight stock remaining. And the Wii just down to his last two. Does have his KO. Whiffs the KO again, unfortunately. But once again, that recovery coming back to bite him. Already down to his last stock. And with all this attack, there's just no way he's going to be able to recover from it. And Quinnipiac will take the first map with eight stock remaining. So, all right, we will get things set up for the second game here in just a minute. But we've just seen there a very good uh, Sonic player being able to utilize the entire platforms running around all over the place. And the insane recovery that we saw from Sonic, whether falling very deep and being able to dash back in and then using the spring jump to get back on there, or just spinning underneath the platform all the way around and then getting back on there was uh, definitely a, a sight to, to see, that's for sure. But all right, so uh, we're looking here, gonna make sure I get everything set up for the next game. But it looks like Cheshire is going to be leading off. And we're just waiting for them to decide the map. I'm just kind of looking over here at the game uh, as we are uh, waiting. So while we're doing that, I'll go over one more quick thing. We do want to appreciate all of your support uh, for our esports program. Thank you for following our channel. Thank you for subscribing. It is the main source of our revenue. So it is greatly appreciated when you are able to subscribe to help us out. If you're not in a position to sub, please do not put yourself in any burdens. But if you do have Amazon Prime, of course, we have Prime Gaming, uh, which gives you uh, all sorts of perks if you connect your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account. So whether it's uh, free in-game items, uh, it could be free games, or even a, uh, a free sub that you can use uh, for any Twitch channel of your choice, including ours. Uh, the benefits of that is you get instant access uh, to our VODs. Uh, so we do upload them onto YouTube uh, later on. But uh, if you are impatient like I am, then you can subscribe to our channel and get access to them immediately. Um, and then you get access to the custom Marriott College emotes courtesy of our communication brand management department. You see some examples here, uh, different ways to express yourself. And we are working on some new Twitch emotes. Uh, I don't have a ETA on when they're gonna be ready. I've seen some previews. Uh, I really like how they bring the Pioneer to life with expressions and there may be some different ways to identify yourself based on the different emotes. Uh, but yeah, any support is greatly appreciated. But all right, it's looking like the map is going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, Cheshire is gonna be bringing out Donkey Kong once again. So now it's just a matter of getting everything set up here. And they're bringing out the DK rap, so we just need to go ahead and swap over now so we can hear this. All right, here we go. And Quinnipiac is leading off with Sephiroth. I don't know who it is on Quinnipiac's team, but we are gonna see that Sephiroth go up against Cheshire's Donkey Kong. We're seeing Cheshire trying to get some damage onto that Sephiroth, who does have a very, quite the interesting sword, I should say. 
Tries to go for the smash attack. But we're seeing it's pretty even at this point. But we're going to see the stun coming out onto Donkey Kong. And going to use that to knock Cheshire out of the arena, dropping a stock. And once again, we're seeing this time the stun coming out by Cheshire and able to take out Sephiroth. And now it's pretty evened up. Oh, the Cheshire's got the, the uh, arm swing charged up, looking for an opportunity to land a hit, but Sephiroth is trying to use that range advantage to not let him land a hit. Tries to shield the attack. But still gets hit by the one strike. And because of that sword, it's just really hard to get any attacks on off of uh, Sephiroth. It does land a couple of great hits. But that counter strike is going to take out Cheshire. And they do and they're able to launch Sephiroth off. So now it's one stock left each. So this is back and forth, neck and neck. But we were seeing Sephiroth trying to get the upper hand onto Cheshire. Goes for the swing punch, but does not connect. But we're already seeing Cheshire at 104%. Sephiroth only at 16. Tries launch and gets the Meteor Smash. Despite being up by now by 113%, Cheshire is able to take advantage of the launch and Meteor Smash combo to take that first round. But that was very well played there by Cheshire being extremely patient. The fact that even though they were behind by quite a bit, it was like, what was 113 to, I don't remember. It wasn't a whole lot, maybe around 20s or something. But they were able to launch stuff off in the air, use the meter smash to just knock him straight down. That had to be a lot of patience because when you're that far behind, you feel like you have to, like, do a makeup play or some way to even up the percentage. But all right, they're going to be selecting maps. It looks like it's going to be Final Destination. So now we're just waiting for everyone to be ready. All right, we are still waiting to see what Quinnipiac will be playing against that Donkey Kong. I mean, we might see the return of Sonic, who knows? But Meredith is going to say they're ready. And we are going to see a Lucas coming out for Quinnipiac. Now, Cheshire is going to have to take out two of their stock first. And I think they remember this Lucas because remember Marietta has played Quinnipiac before the fact it was one of their first uh, matches in Nace so I think it's going to be that same Lucas 
So we'll have to see how they're going to play against the Lucas. And see, Lucas already utilizing that PK fire combinations. And Cheshire down to the last stock. Going to have to find some ways to get some quick strikes onto Lucas. But yeah, that PK freeze is going to be really nasty, especially off the ledge. We're already seeing trying to use that against uh, Cheshire, but Cheshire is trying to get back on the platform. Does get a nice hit onto uh, Lucas, but has to keep dodging those freezes because if you get frozen while you're in the air off the platform, you're going to fall to your death. And since Cheshire is down to the last stop, he's going for a... And he tries to take out the Lucas, but will lose a stock in the process. And that will take him out of the, the matchup. So now they're going to have to change things up a little bit. So I'm not too sure if that means that Lucas will... Lose the side. I think technically may not because it did, his, uh, Cheshire died first. So I think that was a, a win without dropping a stock for Lucas. But it looks like Inaba is going to be coming in for uh, game two. So he'll be bringing out the Min Min. Now we're going to see what the map selection should be. Min Min's actually a good choice against uh, Lucas because the it definitely outranged Lucas and try to avoid the PK fires. But it's just going to have to take advantage of that distance. But looks like the map will be Hollow Bastion. And Marietta is ready. Now we're just waiting for Quinnipiac to be ready. Alright, so yeah, we're still waiting for this. As a reminder, this is a playoff match for Nace. So whoever wins will move on to the semifinals. And even if the Pioneers fall, they are still guaranteed one more match this Saturday. So we do hope you will come back uh, for that match. Alright, so we are just... Yeah, Lucas does not lose a stock uh, from that because Cheshire uh, lost the stock uh, first. I cannot talk today. But we're seeing right now, Vinman's doing very well trying to keep that distance from Lucas. And Lucas is trying to close that gap. Use the freeze. But fortunately, Anava does go back to the middle of the platform. If he went in the other direction, it would definitely have been out. Just like that. Oh, it does break, but it's going to try to use it again. And another stock gets dropped. A great Dragon Strike comes out there from Min Min, trying to launch uh, Lucas even further. Already at 103%. Lucas gonna try to close the gap as much as possible. Dodges the ice. But once again, trying to use that PK Freeze combination. And once again, that ice trick, we have seen this numerous times, but Min Min has enough range to get back onto the platform, dodges another ice, and uses an up smash to take her down. So now Inaba's down to her last stock. Still needs to try to get one stock off of Lucas.
gonna try to recover back onto the platform, dodging all the PKs, dodges the fire and the freeze. But we are seeing this Lucas is adjusting and making sure that Inava cannot keep any distance and that PK freeze will finish them off. And Lucas will win another round without dropping a stock. And it looks like Ginger Ale will be coming in to try to take a stab at uh, the Lucas. That's what to say, of course it's going to be Corin. But yeah, as I was saying before, the Smash team will have another match this Saturday against uh, Manchester at 11. And it will be their last uh, GLEC match for the semester. And we'll even have a couple other matches going on uh, on Saturday. Our Overwatch team will be playing against Baldwin Wallace at noon. Our Rocket League team will be playing against St. Francis at 1. Uh, we did find out that our League of Legends team did have a bye this week, so they will not be playing. They will play the following Saturday. And we will have a very special match. 8 o'clock on Saturday, April 1st. So definitely come back uh, for that. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. We're very stoked about this special presentation. So please be sure to join us on Saturday at uh, 8 o'clock. But, all right, so I think the selections have been made. It is going to be Battlefield for uh, for this next map. And we're going to see Ginger Ale already going to be changing up the uh, the music here. And it looks like maybe a Pokemon theme. Which one will they pick? Right, here we go, Ginger Ale as Corn against this Lucas. Trying to use up as much as the shield and great awareness to dodge the PK fire. Trying to dodge that PK freeze. Goes for the delay on the kick, but does get launched a little bit by Lucas. Dodges the PK freeze, so trying to dodge a lot of abilities, but at the same time still taking a lot of damage too. A great attack by there, but still just a little bit high damage-wise. And we have to take advantage of the fact that while Lucas is using things like PK Freeze and PK Fire, that they are very vulnerable. So if they can, if uh, Cheshire can close the gap while those PK abilities are being used, that's how you're going to be able to take him out. A big hit there with the PK fire and a huge PK freeze there while trying to dash in. And Cheshire does, I'm sorry, uh, Ginger Ale does drop a stock. We see Lucas still taking a lot of advantage of those PK abilities. Does shield the freeze, but gets hit by another PK fire. Dodges another freeze, but gets hit by the baseball bat. Let's try to land some hits, but playing very cautiously, but does get a great smash in the air, but Lucas is still standing. But does take down one stock from Lucas.
but gets hit by another PK freeze while trying to get back onto the platform. So now Jinjiro is on her last stock. Tries to go for the counter, but does not connect. Perfect block there by Lucas. Dodges the PK fire. Goes for another attack. Lucas once again trying to go for that PK freeze combo. A great smash attack there by Corinth. Tries to go for the stun, but doesn't get it. Launches Lucas in the air once again. Tries to go for a stun. Lucas was looking to absorb it. Another block with the shield. Another smash attack launcher. Lucas in the air. Tries to counter the PK fire with the, the stun. Lucas uses PK Thunder to get back onto the platform. I'm gonna try to throw. Yeah, and use that PK freeze, and it does connect, and that is going to take out Ginger Ale. Getting Lucas to 119% on the second stock, but just not enough to finish him off. So now it's going to be up to the weed, and Quinnipiac still has eight stock remaining as a group. And now we'll change up the music and it will be some punch out music for you. Never mind, bringing out something from the Wario series. We will see that little Mac coming out for the weed. So it is now up to the weed to keep the Smash Team's playoff hopes alive. And it will be final destination for the map. Waiting for Quinnipiac to be ready. And we are still waiting for. Quinnipiac to be ready, so I'm not so sure what the delay is. And we are still waiting, folks. We appreciate everyone's patience as we are just kind of waiting to see when Quinnipiac will be uh, ready here. Now, I did mention a little bit about the matches for Saturday. Uh, just a programming note, next week will be kind of an off week because the remaining NACE playoffs will not be into the week of April 10th. So our Overwatch and Valorant teams will not have any matches next week and all the GLEC matches will conclude this Saturday. But all right, we are getting underway here. So it is gonna be the Weeds Little Mac versus Lucas. Three, two, one, go. So Lucas will go ahead and drop that one stock. But now it is three stock for Marietta. Quinnipiac has eight stock remaining. So can the weed close this out? We have seen the weed take out quite a few opponents before on this little Mac. 
but it is going to be a challenge because of the melee versus range. But we see a great hit coming out uh, from Little Mac. But those PK freezes is going to be really hard for him to recover for that very reason we just saw. This is going to be a very difficult matchup. Because just use it. I'm going to anticipate that Lucas will just continue to spam PK fires and PK freezes. But we're going to see quite a few hits coming out uh, from uh, the Weeds Little Mac. Already getting Lucas to 114%. And another launch in the air. And once again, Lucas will recover. Another great hit there. They're going to try to launch it in the air using that PK freeze. Does dodge it, but another PK fire comes out. And just going to try to launch it in the air as much as possible. Another dodge comes out, and a huge hit there by Little Mac, and still has the KO ready, but it does end up burning it to get back onto the platform. And air dodges and does not get it. Just a missed input. So now we're going to see the weed having it on his last stock. And we're seeing Lucas putting a bunch of damage onto the weed. That might have been a, that missed input is still in his head. And now those freezes will finish him off. And with that, Quinnipiac will take down the Pioneers, and that will end the uh, Marietta's run in the the NACE competition for this semester. Uh, you can tell. I think that missed input just kind of got to him and was just not able to mentally recover uh, from it. So that will be the match for today. Uh, but like I said, there is still a little bit more Super Smash Brothers uh, coming. So on Saturday, the team will be back where they play against Manchester in the GLEC. So it will be their final match uh, for the semester. We will also see our Overwatch uh, playing at noon against Baldwin Wallace and our Rocket League team will have their final match for the semester against University of St. Francis at one o'clock. So please be sure to come join us on Saturday to cheer on the teams as we get near the conclusion of the, the spring season. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Barry College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shout outs again to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good night.